everybody, this is Little Miss Bugs and Darcy! Um, I want to do a shout out to a proud cat lover. I watched your video this morning and it broke my heart about your leopard gecko. Um, it's so, so sad. I'm really sorry. Um, and I know what you're going through. Um, it's really hard. Um, we had a snake named Boo. Um, um, my son talked me into getting a snake and, um, I was like, I don't know. We got, I don't know. So we... We went and looked and um, um, we found a breeder and he was a ball python and albino. We fell in love with him. Um, he was a very old, he was a baby. Um, we brought him home and we loved him and everything. He was like the perfect snake. He was like sweet. We took him to expos and he'd be around my neck. Um, one. You know, um, for Halloween, I took him to a Halloween party here on my neck. People go, that real? I'm like, yeah, that's real. Um, but around um, 10 months, I some, around 10 months, I noticed something wasn't right with him. He wasn't eating, and he just didn't seem right. So um, I took him to the vet, and they did, they checked him, and they're like, there's definitely something wrong with your snake. Um... I did x-rays for him and found out he had a disformed spine. Um, the vet said that he was born like this and nothing we could have done would have helped him. The vet said he was in pain. Um, and so the vet, for the best interest of the state, was to put Boo down. Um, he loved Boo. Um, he got his name because he, the kids would scare me with him, but, um, the first time I was scared, but after a while, he was my friend. I he loved him. Um, he was just a great example of a great, a great snake that was that was good with kids. Um, for the best interest, we had him put down. Um, when I go back, <laughs> I love him and I wouldn't change it. Sometimes God puts.